Death Valley. Mm. I wish I had something cooler. Cold, like North Pole. Whoa! A 7-Eleven Slurpee! What could be cooler? Hello everyone and welcome to this Funko review. It's your old buddy Mr. Mike on the mic here and on today's review is on these wonderful Funko Pops in front of you. This is the 7-Eleven exclusive Slurpee Pops. These Funko Pops are only available at your local 7-Eleven. They're not, low, not available online. You must go to your participating 7-Eleven and hopefully you can find these Funko Pops. These Funko Pops were an adventure to say the least. I went to nine different 7-Eleven stores and I was able to find the Funko Pops. Uh, I found them at two different stores. The Banana Slurpee Pop was in Montebello, California, while the other three were in West Covina, California. And trust me, I went to a lot of 7-Elevens, and unfortunately, they were sold out or they didn't carry them. And I was going to give up all hope, and then thankfully, I just went into another 7-Eleven and found those, and now I have the whole set. So let's go ahead and give you a rundown of each box, each Funko, and... Let's take a look at these wonderful, colorful Slurpee Pops. Each Funko Pop comes in a different flavor, and even the box itself is a different style of box, different colors and everything. So here we have the first one in the set, Blue Raspberry Slurpee. Uh, again, decent sized box, and of course it is 7x11 exclusive because you can see in the sticker right there. And they say it's glittered, so we're going to go ahead and take them out of the box so you can get a better look at the Blue Raspberry Slurpee Pop. Here you have the Blue Raspberry Slurpee Pop, and it's a cute little pop. As you can see, it is supposed to be designed as a Slurpee Cup, down to the 7-Eleven logo on the side right there. Again, blue and purple display on the cup there. And of course, the glitter portion is the frosting, slurpy, icy goodnesses on the top of the head there. Uh, from this camera angle and the light, you can probably do see the sparkle of the uh, slurpy. But pretty much, it's a standard cute little pop. Uh, comes with eyes. Of course, he is wearing sandals. I don't know why he's wearing sandals, but oh well. That's how Fungo designs them. So here you have Blue Raspberry. And let's go ahead and take a look at the other Slurpee Pops. The next Funko Pop is the Banana Slurpee Pop. And you can see on the back, again, we didn't get a chance to describe, but he had the list of the current uh, Funko Pops that are available for the set. This box was the first one in the set that I found in Montebello, California. And this was actually the last Funko Pop of the Slurpee Pops. And uh, I picked them up and not realizing that the box did come a little beat up. You can see it is open from the top. I had nothing to do with that. That's how it came a little dent in the corner but again these are 7-eleven exclusives and sometimes these guys sell out quickly um again i went to nine different 7-elevens to find the funkos but i'm happy i did find them so that's why i'll accept a little bit of a damaged box but nonetheless it is a great funko pop guys if you're collecting all these ad icons then you definitely want to add this to your collection so just like Blue Raspberry, now we have Banana Slurpee. Of course, Banana because of the yellow Slurpee content on the top. Again, it is glitter, so you can definitely see the shine in the glitter of the Slurpee Pop. And this one you can see is definitely in a different cup with blue and purple print. The white Slurpee coloring. Cute little face with his purple sandals. So here you have the Banana Slurpee Pop. And let's go on to the next one, guys. The next punk Funko Pop on the list is the Pina Colada Slurpee Pop. Now, Pina Colada, of course, for me, is not one of my particular favorites. But it, I guess it is a crowd favorite. And they made a Funko Pop out of this one. So it's a great Funko Pop if you're a fan of the Pina Colada. I mean, I prefer the drink opposed to the... Uh, slurpee but that's for different but this is overall another great box guys of uh, side profile of the pina colada pop and with the back showing all of the 
uh, current sets of the Slurpee Pops, guys. But uh, doing a little wrist research, guys, do you know that it, back in 1927, it was Uncle Johnny Jeffrey Green who had the idea to start selling items at his dock in Dallas, Texas, which was the start of the idea of what 7-Eleven is today. Moving forward 10 years, 1937, Southland Ice Company takes the idea of Johnny Uncle Johnny's idea of selling items at the dock and started selling them throughout the Texas area and calling the company Totem Stores, Tote M, T-O-T-E apostrophe M Stores. But it wasn't until 1946 that Totems became 7-Eleven. Why? The business decided to open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., seven days a week. And that is how 7-Eleven got its name. This was created back in 1946. So this is an a, a store, a company that's been through the test of time. And of course, uh, 7-Elevens are all throughout the world, different countries and continents and everything. You can always find a 7-Eleven at your local stores anywhere. But that's a little bit of history on 7-Eleven. So let's go ahead and give you a better look at the Pina Colada Slurpee Cup. Here's your up close 360 degree look of the Pina Colada Slurpee Funko Pop. Again, different style with the looks like purplish violetish yellow color scheme for the cup you do have the 7-eleven logo on the side of the cup but of course the pina colada is white and it is sparkly with the yellow straw and yellow sandals and everything so here you have an up close look at this cute pina colada funko pop and we got one more guys to complete the list so let's go ahead and show you my personal favorite Last but not least is my favorite Slurpee of all time. It is the Cherry Slurpee. This is the, my go-to Slurpee when I want a Slurpee on a hot day like today. Uh, I would go to my local 7-Eleven, which is luckily just to me about around the corner from where I currently reside. But here you have the back of the box, the side profile of the box. And of course, front and center, we have the Cherry Slurpee. So... Let's go ahead and take them out of the box so you guys get a better look at Cherry Slurpee. And here we have the Cherry Slurpee Funko Pop out of this box, guys. And this is the one out of all the Slurpee Pops that this one, my eyes set most just because one, again, I'm a big fan of the Cherry Slurpee. But the design, even though it is just the same as everybody else, one, the cup is different, yellow with a teal blue. But this one, you can see the glitter um, shown on the top of the slurpee it's sparkling where the other ones you can kind of see it if you really look but with the light angle and everything the sparkles really shine on the slurpee pop here and uh overall it's more eye-catching for me so i don't know about you i don't know what your favorite funk uh slurpee pops are but if you which one ever you like go ahead and leave a comment down below but this is the cherry slurpee pop again same as the others different color cup Different color sandals, same 7-Eleven logo on the side, but definitely the glitter aspect shows more on this one. So this was a great pop, guys. So here we have all the Slurpees out in a row, guys, so you can get a better look at the Slurpee Pops. Again, with the lighting angle, you can see the sparkles really shine more on the Cherry Slurpee. Um, the, unfortunately, the Pina Colada, I mean, you really got to look at it to see the sparkle. Even with the banana slurpy pop, the blue raspberry, you can kind of see it a little bit, but definitely the red cherry slurpy pop really stands out the most. Uh, these are great Funko Pops, guys. If you are into the ad icons, uh, definitely you should start checking your local 7-Eleven to see if you're successful in trying to find these Funko Pops to add to your collection. The glitter aspect for me, uh, definitely... I don't know why Funko did this. Uh, I don't know if there was trying to be something different to stand out, but I honestly felt that these Funko Pops should have been more with a scented uh, Funko scent instead of a glitter. Because can you imagine if you go and spray some cherry on the cherry pop and you will smell like cherries, uh, raspberries on the blue one, banana for the yellow, and the biggest pina colada would be a coconut. Um, but I definitely felt 
that these Funko Pops should have done with a scent instead of a glitter just to make them stand out because, you know, uh, currently a hot topic you can buy online a uh, slush puppy and slush puppy can it is a strawberry scent and you can get that through the hot topic website but i would have felt that 7-eleven or funko should have done a scented uh funko set of the slurpees but overall i can't complain i'm very happy i did find these funko pops after you know hours of searching different 7-elevens within the you know where i currently reside uh so no complaints there it was successful i was able to find these and i'm able to add these to the collection guys so if you have the funko pops too tell me what do you think about them you know do you like the glitter do you feel that maybe they should have been scented um personally i'm going hey funko if you're listening why didn't we get a coke slurpee pop coke is probably the next best flavor opposed to cherry so You've done Coca-Cola Pops. Why not a Coca-Cola Slurpee? Hopefully down the road we'll see a Coca-Cola Slurpee. But uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. So, so all I can say is thank you so much everybody for watching this video. If you do like this video, make sure you hit a like. Don't forget hit subscribe so you can follow our channel. Help continue to grow our subscriptions. We would love to continue and add more people more followers more viewers so and i appreciate doing all these videos when i can guys so uh i hope you enjoyed it and uh again hit that like and subscribe and until next time guys i'm mike on the mic thank you so much and have fun funkoing everyone